show you guys a problem with living in the countryside. Um, don't know if you can hear it. There's a bee in my room, and it's a big ass bee. Holy crap! <laughs> um, I actually don't like things that you know fly and can sting you, and uh, that's a fairly big thing that can fly and can sting me. And I'm well aware that if I open that window, it will probably go out because bees are a bit smarter than wasps. But also, I don't want to go near that. <laughs> um, like at all. Not even in the slightest. <laughs> um. Yep. You stay right there, very large bee. I'm going to go find my mother <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>We're building a gate. A natural gate with natural wood. Natural problems. Yep, because <laughs> it's bendy and squishy and I have to work out Tetris. We have completed gate one with that much end bit that she's going to dig into the ground. I'm not digging it, I'm going to mull it. Yeah. I'll have to take this one out. Well, that, no, that's the wrong side. This side, it's this one. No, because it's it opens that way. So this section from here, there, is going to have to be taken out because it opens that way, and then the other one will open the other way. This you know, is the double I could gates. saw your body off into parts, don't you? <laughs> I told you, I told her this, and she was building the damn thing. I don't get listened to. Anyway, it's freezing cold, so I want to go in now. <laughs> I'm going to go in and get warm. Oh, oh. It is very early on Monday because we love Monday mornings, don't we? We just absolutely love them. Um, there are two teams here today and um, they have not coordinated in the slightest. So we're having the windows done today by Safe Style. Um, the guy who's doing the scaffolding is already here. He left like 4am in order to get here on time. Dedication. Um, also, probably worth mentioning, he's not Welsh. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's like he had a really long way to come. Um, almost from London, so uh, yeah, don't envy him. Uh, the other thing is, um, James and his team are here, as per usual. They have brought Sands Digger. That is going to do our retaining wall, which is at the side there. My mum this morning, um, after getting up at 6am because she hates herself, <laughs> uh, she had to um, quickly run down and protect the rest of the chicken guard because, well, the chicken run because the chickens chose to stay outside in the rain. We were kind of hoping they were smart enough to know, ooh, that's water. I don't want to get wet. I'm going to go where it's dry. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, apparently the silkies at least did, um, and they're the ones with the bro like broken feathers um, that get really upset when they get wet. Um, so somewhere in their little chicken brains they went, oh no I don't like this, and actually went inside the hutch. That's good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Madam and Bertha, which are our bantams to be fair, um, yeah, both of them were just like, no, my nest is outside, I exist outside, I'm not going inside. So, um... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're basically having a wall dug today. The entire amount of rubble that's inside the house should be exited outside the house and into that retaining wall, hopefully. And uh, yeah, the scaffolding is going up. And then eventually, that pump there, we're going around the back of the house. We're currently having a massive hole dug with uh, <laughs> that giant digger. I basically, um, I just want to tell you guys really quickly about the great Kiki escape. Um, <laughs> Kiki is our uh, light orange fluffy chicken. Um, she's gorgeous. Basically, she discovered a hole um, at the side of the hutch there. Uh, basically, just underneath plastic. Um, it's a hole that I used to put my arm through to open and close the gate manually. Um, 
she must have seen me do that because um, they're a bit scared of the noise you see and Kiki I think she lost she kind of lost like where the entrance to the hutch was so she stuck her head out of that hole instead I just had to kind of corral like push her nose back <laughs> backwards <laughs> until she worked out where the entrance to the hutch was <laughs> oh, it was so funny I mean I wasn't funny at, uh, a few minutes ago because I was like if she gets out oh my god uh, there's literally every worker and his man and dog here so they've just put up the new window for uh, the upstairs kitchen at the moment that's just gone in the scaffolding's gone in you can see like some of the windows are already out and they're talking about building the shed there at the moment which is where the um, pump's gonna go so yeah a lot of work today unfortunately we are completely stuck outside because of it and uh, yeah we picked the one rainy day of the week typical that we're about halfway done, they've just finished the upstairs. So I'll show you the new windows with dope window handles. <laughs> That's a new door out there, it's upside down at the moment. Uh, they'll put that in in a minute. Um, all the windows now open outwards. So that includes the window at the back there. They are so, like, so clean compared to the previous windows. And all the spiders are gone. <laughs> Yay! Right, it's actually a little bit of a walk around. Uh, the windows are in, they're done, finished, yay. Um, as I said, I think I've already shown you guys this one, but this is one for um, the kitchen, the room that you've seen me in the most. Um, they've done that one as well. I love the expanding foam, it's so funny. Um, the bits of wood you can just see outside there are actually the windowsills, and they're gonna cut them to shape tomorrow and um, basically leave it to us. They said they don't want to stick them down until we finish painting, decorating, everything like that. Otherwise they'll get scratched and damaged and covered and it's like, well, yeah, fair. Um, this window is obviously finished. Um, the guys are still outside from James's crew. They're doing the hole. You can kind of see where they've done like the, um, the trench. The chickens keep coming out and then getting scared and then going back into the hutch. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> they're all right though. Um, I'm keeping an eye on them and they have actually been fed, so um, I'm not too worried. Excuse the very dark hallway. Um, we've had the bathroom window in. Um, I think one of the guys stepped on the kibble ball by mistake and it's just gone poof. <laughs> So my mum's going to have to get the vacuum cleaner out because, <laughs> I mean, wow. Uh, yeah, I, I obviously I can't walk in here because of that. But um, yeah, we've got the frosted glass with like the little maple leaves on. Again, they've left these strips on, that orange text strip, um, because this room's not decorated yet and he just said it'll just protect the window and then we can peel it off um, when we're done. My current bedroom, purple room bedroom, is finished as well. That's done. That's the cat. <laughs> Hopefully the cat will hoover up some of those kibbles. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Um, yeah. Oh, I'll have to make sure my heated blanket's um, <laughs> still plugged in. Um, but yeah, these are really nice windows, really nice. And, oh, there's no more freezing cold breeze. Amazing! I love the keys as well. These little flowers—they're really nice. But it's a push and then open. Wow, that's nice. I'll just bang that back in and a click. I love when things work. Anyway, uh, that's my bedroom. Um, you have to excuse me. We've got to do a lot of, a lot of wandering around right now. Um, haven't been in this room for a fair minute and. Yep, that's the front of the house as well. So the lines are gone. It's It makes this whole room so much brighter. It's done the same for my office as well. Um, this office room, obviously the office still has a ton load of work to do. Um, <laughs> still got the ticket on it. But yeah, look how much foam they had to use around these windows. Like, <laughs> it's just basically, <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of foam. It was a lot of holes and gaps. I mean, so it's, not really a surprise, you know. Oh, cat number two. <laughs> They've been itching to get out all day. How many mates? Can you warm up? Do you fancy clearing out the bathroom for me? Do you? Can you eat all the stuff on the floor? They get a bit of a shock if they come down because I'm so James is being still here. <laughs> <laughs> they think everyone's left and they haven't. Look at the mud on this carpet. Unbelievable. Good job we're not keeping it. Oh, wow. 
Look at the door. Isn't that a nice door? And again, look at the amount of foam that's had to go down. Um, but they're bringing the underfloor heating up to the level of the door, so um, yeah, we won't really have to worry about that. But I mean, the door's flat. <laughs> we have a flat door. <laughs> it's obviously covered in plastic still. Again, they've said the same thing. Leave the plastic on until we finished um, all the work. It's still maybe freezing in here, but it's not as bad, is it really? So, front room's done. Now, over the pile. And this one's done. I see those finger marks. Uh, they're coming back tomorrow just to finish off little bits and pieces. So, um, it's not 100% done, but uh, we think they've had a fair crack at it. Right, all the wooden windows are gone. So, that's our largest window. I mean, I love it. It's all bright and clean and clear. There's no cobwebs or anything, no flaming spiders. I think the back door's open. That's where the freezing breeze is coming from. Side windows. And that window's done. We haven't touched anything in there because Mum wanted a whole new conservatory. Um, that's going to have to be something we save for now. We are well over budget um, with that, unfortunately. So that's not being done. But, um, yeah, I'm sure Mum will cry like that another time. Uh, we have the second bathroom window in here. This one's just been done, which is great, to be honest, because that window has actually been open for the past two weeks, three weeks. Um, it got a bit of stone grit in it, and it just shafted the previous window, basically. Uh, we just couldn't get it open. Uh, so we couldn't get it to close, so a bit of a nightmare. And then these are the last two. Yep, this room was finished and now it most certainly is not. Thinking of painting that back wall, um, maybe a reddish brown, reddish orange. Um, my mum said this room was just a bit too cold for her liking. So yeah, we're going to change the colour scheme anyway. But to be honest, this colour scheme was put in very, very quickly and it was for the kids. So um, what I'll probably do is change that back wall. Maybe change that wall as well because he's going to have to skim um the edges of the windows because my mum said no to the plastic coverings this is my mum for you hey kitty i love that they put the plants on the stairs <laughs> we can't use the stairs um yeah kitty there's still people here yeah, you were expecting that were you no no am i anywhere i think i am <laughs> so yeah that's it that's it that's um that's all the windows and all the doors that we're doing. Oh, that's very kitty. Um, I'm going to show you a bit of the progress out here. Sorry, it's freezing again. Um, they've moved the ship out the way. Um, we're having a new wall built in here. All this is moving that way. Oh, God, it's wet. <laughs> it's raining. Lovely. Um, yes, yeah, so everything's moving, basically. And they're going to put the pump house there. Don't know what we're doing with the ship yet. I think it's probably going to be moved over closer to the stairs, or it'll be moved over over there by the uh, by the shed that's coming up there. I'm not, not sure to be honest. I'm just going to close this door see if we can um, at least save some heat inside this house. But I can't actually go up the spiral staircase, so I'm going to have to go back. Um, yeah, that's everything I think. Might just let the cat out if he's uh, if he's interested. I'm going this way. Are you? Yeah, it is. There's your way out, Mal. Ooh, it's still nice and warm in here, even though it's uh, raining. Is that a no? Is it too wet? <laughs> I love it when cats second guess their decisions. <laughs> is it too wet? Yes, he says. Which gives me close that because I do want to actually, you know, retain some heat in this house. So, yeah. Been waiting for that for at least a couple of months. Um, but yeah, it just makes everything brighter in here, which is great. We need all the uh, all the brightness we can get, especially in the old build. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow the skip should be here, so Kyle and his team should be back to empty out all the rubble from the floors and everything. Um, as said, the Safe Star Window team's coming back just to finish off bits and pieces. Um, I don't know if anything's happening with the retaining wall tomorrow. I imagine it might. So we're waiting on some concrete and stuff to go in. Um, 
yeah, they were given the wrong the wrong digger, so they got the small digger instead of the big one. Oh, the chickens are now out. <laughs> all of a sudden, all the chickens are out. <laughs> Lovely when that happens. So, uh, yeah. Really, really busy, productive day today. Um, here's hoping it continues tomorrow, and then hopefully, with any luck, by the end of April, we will have a fully insulated, heated house. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs>